Look, there's so, but there's two warpers down there. I see the thermal vents. I'm just oh my god, it won't quit. I'm just trying to find a good freaking place. Oh my god, I'm about to die. I'm about to die. I don't have another health kit. I don't know where it is. I don't I don't know where the where the seamoth is. Where's the freaking seamoth? What's going on, guys? Welcome to another video. I am Dergils. We're playing some more of Subnautica. I had a lot of fun with last episode was just doing some exploration, you know, and seeing if we missed anything. And we did find a lot of stuff that we missed. So I think it was a successful uh, thing that we did. And I want to keep doing that before we go down to what I think is the thermal power plant in the lava zone area. Now in the comments, I believe Ian asked me to read back through some of the documents that I had since I read back through some documents before last episode and admittedly so I did not read through everything when I found something that kind of was amiss I hyper focused on that and didn't read the rest of the documents so I did go back and read the rest of the documents so now I'm not sure the thermal plants purpose okay I don't know what we're gonna find in the thermal plant I think it may have something to do with powering the rocket to get off this planet. I'm not sure though. I don't like, I'm still, everything's kind of just kind of jumbled up and I'm not sure how this is going to go, but I, I do want to do something in this episode, uh, similar to what we did last episode and just see if I can find anything that I missed. Still curious about that Degassi. Uh, data pad or voice log that's missing yeah, which kind of makes me wonder should I go back to should I go back to the Degasi habitat that was on that island because the one in the jelly shroom cave there's not much to miss there I would I would have a hard time believing that I missed something in the jelly shroom cave so I think I kind of want to go back to that island and just look around. Not sure if that's a good idea or not, but we're going to bring enough materials for another scanner room. You know something I want to do though real quick. I want to do this alien containment. This alien containment thing. I want to install that. Will it go in here? Here, I'm just I'm just gonna test this out. I don't I don't have the material. I don't have the enamel glass yet. I'll have to go get stalker teeth. But I just want to see if it will fit in here. Where is it? Um, it goes in a multi-purpose room, but it's not gonna go in here because of the water filtration system, which we might as well get this stuff out of here, and uh, we might as well. Drink this right here since this water that just comes to us automatically. So we, we got to do some more stuff with this multi-purpose room. We can't just have this in here, right? We got to build another multi-purpose room before we do the alien containment. Uh, what's, what's it called? Alien containment what? What's it called? Um, it's just called alien containment. I thought it was called something else. Is that glass? That's just regular glass. That's just regular glass. It's not enameled glass. Let's go ahead and get all this and go do some glass. Let's see how many glass we can do. That takes two, right? So that's yeah, two quarts for one glass. So there's one glass, two, three. I'm not going to have enough. Or I don't think I'm going to have enough. Maybe. I do have enough. Yay. Okay, cool. So we got the five glass. I wonder if that left this. Oh, let's get this thing. Let's keep up with those. Maintenance, maintenance, maintenance. So we have the glass. Uh, we got quartz left. Let's put that up. I need to go on a quartz run. It seems like. Here in medical, we'll just throw some waters down there so they can just be in there. Alrighty, we need six titanium for. 
the multi-purpose room. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six, so we just need to attach this somewhere. Hmm. Should we go off the back here? No, that's going to... We should just really... Man, this is uh, this is tough. This is because that hatch would be good right there, but we got all the plants there. Can we come off the other side of the moon pool? Is that allowed? But then that goes like way deep. It's kind of a drop off there. I'm just wondering if like the the legs of the multi-purpose room cooperate you know f it we're gonna we need to we need to do a tube anyway we need to do a tube so we're gonna have to get some more titanium here in a second all right here we go let's just do a tube like this right um it's not gonna work that way okay uh let's see how can we get it to work let's see we're just gonna have to do this however it lets us Right here, right here. It lets us do it right here. Come on, come on, come on. Cooperate, you piece of crap. All right, come on. Up, oh, there we go. Oh, we can go upstairs. Or we can go down. Hmm. We'll just do this. We'll just do this. All right. Um. We're going to need to reinforce... We're going to need whole strength, I think. Or are we good? I don't think it's... I don't think it's crashing. Where is the overall whole strength? I wish I could see it. Like... I probably can somewhere. I just don't know. The base is now going back this way. Mm, I need two more titanium. Let me see if I have any in the Seamoth first. Yep. Let's just put it all on us, because I don't know how much I'm going to use. You know what? We might as well put some whole strength on here. Because I think it's like as soon as... As soon as I put this multi-purpose room on, it's probably going to be too much. So we need lithium. Mm, we don't have any... Okay. Gotta remind me to come get this stuff. Why did it pin fins? Why are, why are fins pinned down there? I don't know what just happened. Alright. All strength, reinforcement. Okay, there we go. Alright, there's that. Now let's do the alien containment. I don't know why it's under the ladders. No, multi-purpose room. Sorry. Multi-purpose room. Or should we do... It? Yeah, it says it goes in a multi-purpose room. So we have to do a multi-purpose room. There we go. Alright. Strength now. 39.4. Does the alien containment require power? Is my question. Oh, now this freaking ladder's in the way. Okay, we'll fix it. We'll just put it somewhere else. Let's put it over here, I guess. Ladder. Oh, come on, don't be difficult. Oh my gosh. Don't tell me. Nah, it's gonna be in that in the way there. See, this just means it's not working right because it originally was here. All right, we'll figure it out in a second. Alien containment. There we go. Boom. This thing's huge. Aquariums provide an ideal opportunity to study alien fauna up close. Select carefully which life forms you bring on board. 
They may also be studying you. They may also be studying you. Interesting. Okay, so how does this thing work? I know you're supposed to craft a hatch with it as well. Does the hatch just go on the outside here? It does. Okay. Uh, I want to put it... I didn't know you could do that. I didn't... Well, yeah, I did. Never mind. I want to put it on the back side. Okay. So we need quartz, right? Uh, quartz and titanium. So we're out of quartz, aren't we? Oh, we just need one quartz. We can do that. And the base is growing, guys. I haven't even built my apartment yet. Just need one quartz. There we go. Yeah, I haven't even built my apartment yet. We're going to, though. We will, at some point, build the apartment. Alright, so there's the hatch. Now, I think we have an alien egg. There, I mean, there's a creature egg. There's one. Is that the only one that we have? I could have swore I had more. Let's go back to these lockers. These miscellaneous lockers that I have back here. With just random crap in it. But there's one. Bunch of waters in there. That's why it, it, it tells me, be careful what you bring in. They uh, may also be studying you. Oh, uh, that's intense. That's intense. All right. Let's go in. We're in our hatch. All right. Uh, use planter. All right. So you can. All right. Hold on. Is that how you do it? All right, so I just read, um, I just read again about the creature eggs and yeah, we're just supposed to lay them in here and we can go outside and you can kind of treat this like, you know, like the, uh, I, I hate to do it, but like you can go out here and like, you know, just pick up random fish, right? Like I can pick up, uh, pick up these little guys right here. Oh, let's get rid of that map. Uh, if we want to breed peepers, come here. I don't know what, if a, one's a male or a female. I don't know how that's determined, but we can breed peepers if we want to. I'm just curious. I just want to do this. These these should hatch over time. It says. So and I don't know what they are, because um, <laughs> that's good. That's going to be exciting, right? Okay, yeah. So if we drop this guy, drop this guy. They'll swim around in here. I like it. And we'll see. We'll see what happens with that. Uh, that's kind of like a cool concept that they breed and I can create a lot of food for us, I guess, right? We can just go in there and uh, eat whenever we want to and just keep putting more peepers back in there. Oh, so there's one more creature egg that I did not drop off in here. So let's drop one more creature egg in here. There we go. So it is dropped as well. And we will see what all that produces. We'll have to come back and check on that at some point. All right, so we have some stuff pinned here. We're just going to have to start grabbing uh, everything that we have um, and see how much we have. I know we're probably getting low on materials we are actually running out of titanium a little bit we have run out of quartz let's see how much copper that we have got a decent amount of copper we'll grab this much because we need that for the scanner room upgrades as well too i don't know about silver i don't think i have any silver so i may need to just go on a silver run uh we'll grab a couple of gold we're going to need a little bit more gold than that. We need coral. We're going to stuff this in the uh, in the sea moth for now. Let me get some inventory loaded on the sea moth. And uh, then we will head out. Okay, I think I've grabbed all I need for now. Let's get back in the sea moth. And last time, 
last time we went was it north northwest yeah like that way what was it northwest yeah let's turn these beacons off it was life pot 12 we went to uh i want to go ahead and uh that is turned off i thought i had it turned on uh light let's turn life pot 2 off i don't want to get all these It was we'll, we'll just turn most of this stuff off, and we'll go back here and turn on. I don't want to. I don't want to get too cluttered. And right now, it seems a little cluttered for me. All right, so there's Life Pod Twelve. It's like northeast, directly northeast. We'll leave that one on just so we can tell where we're going. So now I want to go southeast. Should I go southeast? And see what we can find. Because we went northeast. Look, that's northeast. That's 1,346 meters. So let's go southeast. Like 1,300 meters. That's what I want to do. But I do want a beacon. So let me, let me go create a beacon real quick. All right, we have a beacon. And uh, I ate some food. So we'd be full with uh, food and water. We could just swim around and find some food later if we want to. With the thermo blade. And we are now generating water when we swim. So that'll be cool. So I think we'll be okay. But well, we're going to go directly southeast. And see what we find. I wish it would tell me like exactly how far I'm going and that's terrifying I didn't know there was a reaper that close oh my gosh that is that was that was definitely a reaper and it sounded terrifying are we going towards the aurora Am I by the Aurora? Okay, hey Reaper, hey Reaper. Nope. 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 Where are we? All right, we're getting away from, we're not going towards the Aurora. I thought we were. I can always turn around. And like check out the life pod. Let's see how far we are. Okay, so 957 meters. We're still going southeast. I wanted to go about 1300 meters. I want to go down too. Well, why does what just happened? Why is that weird? Dude, something's attacking me. Something's attacking me. Just don't kill it. All right, where are we now? Hold on. 1100. Get away. He still hit me. What good is this defense system? It's a bone shark. Those things are aggressive. I'm going to have to get out and repair in a second. Let's just get out and repair right here. Oh, it's so dark. It's so freaking dark, man. All right. Oh God, is that a Reaper? Oh my God, get in. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Get in. Go. Oh my God. I didn't even know a Reaper was right there. Oh my gosh. Okay. Why are they so aggressive right now? All right, we're 1,300 meters away. This is kind of where I wanted to be. And we're directly southeast. Let me get out and repair now. Since it looks like it might be safe. Okay, get in. All right, so... 
1,300 meters away. If we go over this, we'll be like 1,400 meters away. Do we need to go down? I don't think so. This is like, this is that drop off. Like, all right. So, yeah, I think this is good. So, I'm just going to like drive around here and look for a good place for a scanner room. See a bunch of salvaged. Or metal salvage. There I am trying to say salvage data again. Like I'm playing No Man's Sky. There's some quartz. We need quartz. I'm pretty much out of quartz. This is kind of, This whole thing's kind of on the decline. Maybe I need to come back up a little bit. Not like it really matters. You know, something I probably should have done was I think there's I think I know where the the other exit that will take you to the next entrance of the Lost River is. How far away are we? We're like okay. Maybe this is a good spot. Looks, this is a nice flat area right here. I know it's not 1,300 meters away, but this is a nice flat area. Where are we? Hold on. We are south. Southwest almost. I need to arm this thing in case they come close. Maybe we should just put like the scanner room on top of here. Oh, get away, get away. Oh, it's that thing. Okay. That's not really hurting me. Oh, something's after me now. Okay. Those things hit hard, man. Hope you guys don't mind the exploration. Like, I literally have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just trying something. And something may come of this and something may not. But, you know, I'm just trying it. This is probably how most people do it, you know. I always feel like when I'm doing videos that I have to do something meaningful during the video. Like, to make it entertaining. Okay, I think I'm just going to go back over here. Was it up here? No, it was not up here. It was... Where was the thing I wanted to put it on top of? Great, now I've lost it. Oh, this is it. This is it. That freaking bone sharks there, though, man. Got this discolored table coral, too. Go away! You know, I'm not going to be able to build it here because it's bone shark. It's just going to bother me the whole time. I want to go out a little further and drop a... I want to get away from that bone shark, for sure. Maybe this is a good spot. This is a nice flat area. But I would have to do the... The nuclear, what was it called? The other one where you put the stuff in it to power it. I wouldn't be able to do solar or would I be able to do any kind of thermal this like this far out. These bone sharks are definitely, how far am I away at 1200? Still not even 1300 yet. God, the bone sharks, man. They're all over the place. So we can drop down a little deeper. I don't know how deep this can go. Or even if I should, this is... I mean, I know it goes really deep, like, in the Lost River, but... 
This is not the Lost River. Yeah, I think like this once it hits this wall, I've seen it in the game. It's like there's pretty much nothing. Once it hits this drop off in this wall. Oh, go Reaper. Go away. Go away, Ghost Reaper. Man, see, I don't want to build a scanner room in the wrong area either. Like, I'm just... Oh, my God. Let's go back to, like, 1,300 meters. Here. Like, right here. All oh, the bone sharks, though. This is wild. They are not going to let me build over here. Is there any spot where they're not just like all over the place? All right, do I see any around here? Any bone sharks? I mean, they're over there. What's just right over here? Hold on. Is that the drop off again? 1100 south south I'm going directly south now oh look at this little spot right here how about right here I don't see any bone sharks All right. I think this is good. What's down here? We got plenty. It looks like we got plenty of materials. Down. Oh, that thing. Oh, these things. I hate them. I hate those things. What all is down here, man? Probably shouldn't go over here, should I? Oh man, it's more blue uh, more blue bulbs. Maybe I should be back here. There's a warper. I know you're gonna hurt me. Maybe I should be back here. Okay, yeah, I'm glad I came back here. I want to take the I want to take the sea moth further back now that it drops down right there, and I know it's safe. I think that's more where I want to be. Here, while we're out here, let's go ahead and repair this. Guys, I, ho I hope this is all worth it. And if not, I just hope you're enjoying watching me explore. This is what I want to do right now. We're kind of, we're down to 50% on the power too. At some point, we'll need to go dock this thing. Where was it? Just like right over here, there was a drop off. Looks like more to explore. Maybe I could be wrong. This definitely looks different. Uh, this looks interesting. Oh, this is the sea treaders. Is this is a is this a different sea treader path or is this the same one I've found before?
All right, now there's the drop off into nothing, so we don't need to go down that way. What is that? That's just that, okay. I was hoping to find a heat vent or something. Freaking warper. There it just drops off to nothing again. Oh, he got me. He got me. He got me. Don't do it again, buddy. Where, where'd he go? Or it, or he, or she. I don't know. A little further than I wanted to be out here. Now I don't know where to put the scanner room. Oh no. There's there's our friend. There's our friend. Leave me alone. Okay, I'm going to go down to get away from him. I'm going to go down to get away from him. Oh my gosh. Where am I going to go? Where am I going to go? Please don't. Please don't eat me. Please don't eat me, man. No, don't eat me. Oh, he's going down with me. Okay, I gotta go down. I gotta go down. Gotta go down. Gotta go down further. Don't eat me. Oh, he's eating me. Oh, he's eating me. Go away. Go away. Oh, gosh. Okay, go, 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 go down. Go down, go down. I'm at 44. I don't want to get caught. Like, okay, let me go down here to get away. And then we'll see what happens. Okay, I'm down here. Oh, God. Okay, let me... Look, there's a little crevice down here. Let me go down here. Okay. I hear the damn warper. Uh, jelly squid. Oh, they're everywhere. Help. <laughs> Help me. Help. Okay. Oh, look, look, look. Here's a little... There's a little, little cave right here. Right here, right here. Okay. Everybody leave me alone for a minute. I gotta repair this thing again. Alright. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Freaking A, man. Honestly, these sea treaders right here are one of the coolest things on this whole game. These things are so freaking cool, man. I really like them. That's like awesome. Just watching them walk is just so cool. They're like freaking giraffes, man, or like dinosaurs or something. Okay, hey guys, check it out. I came back to the base to charge the sea moth because it was getting low. I've cut out some of the exploration just because not much is going on. But there is a baby stalker. A baby sand shark and a baby rabbit ray. They all hatched from the creature eggs. So it's going to be kind of fun going forward now to see creature eggs and kind of, you know, see, hey, is this, uh, is this something cool or what? I don't, I don't know what it's going to be, but, uh, that stalker is definitely going to eat those, uh, peepers. <laughs> that stalker is definitely going to eat those peepers. So that'll be interesting to say. But yeah, I'm letting the sea moth kind of charge up and then we will head back out. This gives me an opportunity to kind of, you know, recharge and uh, go over here and eat as well. Get some food in us. Uh, I did have some water from the suit. So uh, that helped. So we'll do that and then we'll get back out there. And I probably uh, won't cut back to the recording until we're out there again. Just so you guys don't have to sit and watch all that. But uh Hopefully something meaningful happens <laughs> in this episode. Uh, so far, last episode uh, worked out way better. It was way more entertaining with my exploration. It, it hasn't gone the way I wanted it to yet in this particular episode. So we'll see what happens, guys. Okay, guys, we're back, and I'm getting chased by a warper, and this thing is, uh, this thing is aggressive. And uh, it has almost killed me. It almost killed the oh my gosh it almost killed the freaking sea moth as well but i just came down here and i kind of found like this hole in the ground when i was over here and i'm just kind of investigating down here i'm thinking that this might be a good area 
Look, there's so, but there's two warpers down there. I see the thermal vents. I'm just oh my god, it won't quit. I'm just trying to find a good freaking place. Oh my god, I'm about to die. I'm about to die. I don't have another health kit. I don't know where it is. I don't I don't know where the where the seamoth is. Where's the freaking seamoth? Oh, there it is. 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 Yeah, I'm about to die. Oh my god. I was like just down here. I want to explore this area. This area looks really freaking cool. And I like just want to explore. What the hell is this? Oh my god. Oh my god. It's a structure. Oh no 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 no. Oh god, I'm about to die though. I'm about to die. I can't. I can't. I can't. Um I don't know what the structure is. I already used a health kit uh when I was getting attacked uh off camera like when I wasn't really talking. Look, there's another there's another I call them crab squids. They're jelly squids. Just Leave me alone for two seconds. I want to freaking put a beacon here. I want to put a beacon here. Please. Let me put a beacon here. Okay, you know what? Hold on, hold on. Let's get out and... Can I go in here? No. Uh, okay, I'm dropping a beacon. Oh, don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Uh, edit beacon name, edit beacon... No, 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 no. God, put it out, put it out. Oh, God. This is, this is intense, hold on. Edit beacon name, uh... Mystery structure is what I'm gonna call it. How am I not dead right now? Oh, my God. Okay, I gotta get out of here. Oh my god. Get out of here, get out of here. Look at my health. Look at the Seamoth. That did not take long. Oh, gosh. Alright, I have to go back to the base now. But I was coming back this way and I found this hole. I don't know what that structure is. But I'm glad I was able to put a beacon down. Go away, Warper. Okay, I've got to repair this seamoth before anything else hits it uh, let's put uh, this on repair tool let's get out all right that's repaired let's get in the seamoth let's go back to the base I need health packs I have plenty of health packs at the base then I will save the game and then we will come back here and check out that structure. I don't know what is going to be in that structure. I'm hoping it's, it's definitely something I've missed. I've not been to that. I've not been to that 100%. All right, let me do this, get some health, and then we'll come back. All right, back in the Seamoth, we're going to head, where was that? South, somewhere south, right? Uh mystery structure it's this way okay we're gonna head back to this mystery structure it's what I'm calling it for now I don't know um I mean the only people that were building things this deep in this whole game were, were the people from the Degasi right the Tolberts and Marguerite so I'm wondering if that's somewhere else that they built it definitely looked abandoned. So I'm not expecting anything, anybody to be there. Uh, so I wonder if this is where that missing log is going to be. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I know it's dangerous down there. It's very dangerous down there. But hey, we can also... There's some heat vents around here. We can also... Um, build a scanner room down here is this where it is like straight down here uh, what about 
through. No, it's around here. Okay. All right, I think I found it. I think I found it. I think I found it. I think this is it. Uh, where's my thing? Yes. Okay, I found it. That took a minute. <laughs> I couldn't find the freaking cave hole that I went in. But it was definitely dangerous down here. Look, we got the the crab squid. Now, how do we get in here? Before I park, let me see if I can figure out how to get in. Maybe that's a way in. Up here. Look, I see a data pad up there. No. Oh, there's a hatch right there. There's a hatch right there. They're gonna, it's going to destroy my freaking thing, isn't it? Hold on. Let's turn the light off. Oh my gosh. All right. Oh my God, something's on it. This thing, look, it's almost already dead. I'm just, I'm just going to have to, oh my God, give it back. I'm going to die, man. If like, if it destroys my Seamoth, I don't have the propulsion. I don't have the stasis rifle. God, I'm going to have to get out of here. It's just tearing it up. It's stuck. Is this what this is for? No. I'm stuck. Look at it. How did I manage this? How the hell did I manage this? Let's just start exploring. I, I Freaking A, man. Come on. Abandon PDA. Paul Torgo's log number three. This is the missing one. breather in time. I told her. I said others would come. The rupture threw me clear of the habitat. And the monster turned and bore down on me. And just as its tentacles came within reach, Maida appeared out of nowhere. She had a sea glide in one hand, a jagged piece of scrap metal in the other. She meant to butcher that beast or die trying. The last I saw her, she had the metal lodged in its neck as the monster did its best to shake her, contorting off into the darkness. I'm certain she got her wish, one way or another. Then I thought I saw a light deep below me. I hoped maybe Bart had swum clear. I followed it. Now I wonder whether I saw anything at all. Our oxygen is low. The habitat is gone. I can't see the sky. Something surely has the scent of my blood. All right, so that was Paul's demise. Now, Bart survived because there was a voice log of Bart talking about um, how Meta and, and his dad, Paul, were part of the ecosystem now. Where's that hatch at? There was a hatch. Is it up here? Yeah. Saying they were part of the ecosystem. So they actually died. There's an alien containment. Maybe if I didn't have it already, I could scan that. All right, here is a data box. What is this? Cyclops shield generator. I already have that, I think. No, I guess not. All right. That's all that was in there, right? I gotta remember how to get out of here, too. I swear, if my sea glide gets destroyed, I don't know what to do. If it's out there just destroying my sea glide, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna die. Abandon PDA. Voice log nine. New PDA data. I have had it with you, risking our lives. Oh, stow it, chief. The kid can't kill this disease without fish to study. I'm just bringing him home. Bart, tell her. 
Tell her I'm right. You're both wrong. Marguerite, I can't find out how they resist the bacteria if you slaughter them all. It ain't always they oblige in coming in alive. He means you're being reckless. Father, the outcome's no better if we hole up in here and don't go outside. But we have to find a middle way. There is no compromise. Not while she's on my sea base. Your sea base? I'm going outside. Bart, Torical, has disembarked the habitat. Bart, come in. It's dangerous. Damn it, boy. I know you can hear me. Chief. Chief, get off the radio and put on your helmet. What? Brace! All right, so that <laughs> Hold on. Let me let me find these. Okay, these are these are more. This is oh man. Paul Torgel's one. The end. That was 9. So there's definitely more. There's a, there's a number 2. There's going to be a Seven and an eight somewhere. All right, so maybe maybe they're all here. I don't know. We're still looking. We're still looking. This is just the top part right here. I'm sure you can get down to the bottom part at some point. I got to go out and get in the... <laughs> in the sea moth. If it's still alive. It is. It's still here. That's good. Let's go. Let's get in and once we've discovered, once we've like done everything here, we will, I'm going to charge this. Once we've done everything here, we, this is my beacon, right? Okay. Once we've done everything here, we will unstick ourselves, right? Is there nothing else here? Hold on, let's do this okay we're in here now There's gotta be something in here right up 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 look around oh here's uh oh what do we got here uh, another abandoned PDA this is number seven Biometrics would have warned us if we were sick. It's something new. It's not in the database. Come on, man. What's it gonna do? Turn us inside out? Dissolve us into jelly? It's an alien bacteria. It's everywhere. Every organism on this planet. It's altering our genetic code. Uh, how are the creatures surviving if they're infected? I don't know yet. Want me to cut some of them open for you? Find out what makes them tick? No. Just tell me what you need, son. Materials, equipment. Just, can I have some quiet? I need some time to think. So my question is, and you guys can answer this, okay? You guys in the comments can answer this. How do people find, I found this on accident. Is, did I miss something that led, that was supposed to lead me here? You know, what is this? Swim charge fins, I have these already. But we'll go ahead and get the data box. Uh, that I, yeah, I'm like, I don't, I don't want to pick that up actually. Like, did I miss something that was supposed to bring me here? It was like a freaking coffee maker. I just wonder how people find this because I just, I don't know, man. I could, I could see where a lot of people would miss this. Look at my sea moth, man. I'm in trouble on that sea moth. That's why I want to investigate everything. Oh my gosh. It's out there eating my sea moth. It's, it's going to kill it. Not dead yet. What's out here? Come on. 
There's something else out here. There's got to be more here. Got to be more. Got to be more. We went in there. We went in there. I guess there's not more here. Wait, there's like different floors. Look, I haven't gone in here. Oh, there's more stuff there. Okay. Let me let me go get in the sea moth and then we'll figure out how to get in there. Let's get some oxygen real quick. Let this fill up. Now how are we gonna get in there? Um Maybe it was back through here and then we go up. Maybe we missed like a ladder. Uh, go up through here? No. How the heck do we get up there? That's the first level. Okay. I don't see an entrance from the top. Oh, there's a ladder right there. So we're going to go up top. Okay. We're going to go up top into the open hatch and then go down. I missed the ladder going down. Let's see if we can find it over here. Okay. So we, ju we just missed the middle floor. Right over on the other side is where it's going to be. Yeah. Boom. Down here. All right. Cool. We made it. We got in here. All right. So here's another PDA. Got to see voice log eight. Margaret, thread, thread, thread. Maida has boarded the habitat. What are you so happy about, Maida? Say, kid, I brought you something. Is that a Leviathan outside? Towed it home on the back of the stub. You killed that thing? It's still breathing. I was about to finish the job, but I can stand chat if you'd like. No. Then make yourself useful and pass me that hardened blade. <laughs> Are you out of your mind? You brought that thing here? What if it's not as dead as it looks? What if others come? You prefer it got curious and came of its own accord? Or got messed up and dragged here? When we get off this planet... I am going to drag you through every court in the Okay, sound cut off, but in the damn Federation. Uh, Margaret's gangster, man. Margaret is super gangster. Like, that's nuts. She, like, killed a Leviathan? Pick up a creature egg? Sure, since we're into the creature egg business now. All this non-working stuff. What am I... Yo! No, 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 I, I want to drop it. Hold on, I want to drop it so I can scan it. It's an orange tablet. This device hums slightly and displays an orange lit symbol resembling an N. It may offer a way to interact with compatible technologies. Yo, what is the orange tab? I haven't seen an orange tablet. All right. Did I get everything in here? Did I get everything in here? All right. I've searched the top. All right. I've searched the very bottom. I've searched the middle. I've searched the outside. I think I'm good now. Unless there's stuff under here. Is there like a log under here or something? Like on the ground, around outside. I don't see anything else. We're going to leave this beacon here. We're going to call it the Gassi base. I think that's how you spell it. This is like the third one we found. So we'll do Degasi base three. 
60 seconds. All right. Let's go here. Let's see if we can get this thing unlodged one last time. Come on. Come on. I don't think I can. So we're going to have to use uh, this unstuck option. We're going to save real quick. And we're going to use the unstuck option. I haven't done this before. So we're going to see how this works. It says, selecting this option will teleport you to the nearest available location. It should only be done when used, only be used when your character is physically stuck in the world. And we are physically stuck. So I don't know. Let me, something tells me. If I had my damn propulsion cannon, I'd probably be able to get out of here. All right, let's get out of here. Let's um, let's unstuck. Let's do it. Let's say yes. I don't know where this is going to put us. Oh, bro. Don't tell me. Don't tell me you only unstick my character and not the Seamoth. Where am I now? I don't even know where I'm at now. Is my Seamoth still going to be stuck? Oh my god, go out! Is that not where I go out? It won't let me out. Oh my god, I did that time. Um... Yeah. My Seamoth is forever stuck right here. This is not good. This is not good, guys. I think my only option is to try to make it to the propulsion cannon. To bring this back here and move this cargo. Alright, we sea glided it all the way here. Let's go ahead and put our propulsion cannon down right here. Let's take it out and let's hope that this works. If not, then I don't know what else to do. What about this thing? Let's eat that thing. Get out of here. All right, cool. So that worked. Let's get in and let's... It's still stuck. It wasn't just the box. It's still stuck. Come on, turn, 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 turn. It's turning slowly but surely. It's turning. Let's get out again and play with the propulsion cannon some. Um. Oh, look, look, look. I'm able to pick it up this time. Where'd it go? Bro, where did my Seamoth go? Oh, it's still down here. I thought it was letting me carry it a minute ago. And it is not. All right, guys. Looks like we are stuck. And I'm going to have to make another Seamoth. Uh, or maybe I will save here just in a second. And um, I will try to reload in and see if it unsticks. Uh, but that's going to be the end of this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. We found the... Uh, I don't know if it's the last Degassi base or not. But we found another one. I'm interested to see how people actually found it. Did I miss something that's supposed to lead me here? Because I just found it on accident. Love to hear that in the comments. Guys, I appreciate you tuning in, and we will see you in the next video. Take care.